Peter says, I have a chunky 17 terabyte database. Oh, I hear it. I hear a duck flying by in the background. Uh, where whose largest table is two terabytes? Check DB takes days to run. How can I tell which tables have actually been checked before I make the decision to refactor the job to use check table? That's a, it's actually two separate decisions there. One, you don't need to check the status in order to decide to refactor the job to use check table. If you want to refactor the job to use check table, that's based on just the pure runtime. If you decide that it's taken longer and you can't offload it, then just go refactor the job to use uh, check table. And you can either start, what I would do is I would code CheckDB to start with the smallest tables and work up, logging to a table as you move through. I, I, I'm saying all this out loud, I've never done it before, but you'll see why here in a second. Um, move from the smallest tables to the largest, you'll get a real quick feeling for like gigabytes per second that it can move through on those smaller tables. Or should do what everybody else in the world does and offload it to a secondary, either offload it to an availability group secondary, a log shipped secondary, a restored server, you know, just offload it that way. Um, sand snapshots are phenomenal for this. Um, because then that way, you know you've got another replica that's clean and free of corruption that you can fail over to in the event that you hit corruption on your current primary. Other, otherwise, if you hit corruption on the primary, all, you're gonna, all that tells you to do is, okay, now my work starts to try to recover from this. And you still have to restore the database somewhere else because you don't want to restore it onto the same instance that's having corruption problems because it's having corruption problems. You know, you can't trust the, the Windows, the SQL installation, or the storage. Uh, you've got to have another server to restore it to. Well, then that's the place where you should be already restoring the database and running CheckDB against it so you know you have a clean copy. That's why I've never broken down CheckDB into parts, is that it still doesn't get me across the long-term finish line there. That'd be my advice.